Okay, there are basically four different types of heart block. They're divided into categories. There's first degree AV block, there's second degree AV block, which is divided into MOBITS type 1 and MOBITS type 2, third degree AV block, and then what we call 2 to 1 heart block. First degree atrioventricular block is a slowing of the atrioventricular node, so you get a prolongation of the PR segment. Second degree AV block, again, is divided into two segments. One is MOBITS type 1, which is typically benign, and MOBITS type 2, which is a more serious rhythm. In MOBITS type 1, there's progressive fatiguing of the AV node, so we get progressive prolongation of the PR segment and then a dropped QRS complex. In MOBITS type 2, however, this is intermittent failure of the atrioventricular node. So you get normal PR interval, normal PR interval, and then on the next one, the AV node won't work at all and you get no QRS complex. Then it can go back to any other pattern. You might get several P waves without QRS complexes uh, in a row. Third degree AV block, Third degree AV block is complete failure of the atrioventricular node, so there's no communication between the atria and the ventricles. Hence, we've got an individual strip of P waves, P, 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 and another individual rhythm of QRS complexes, so QRS, QRS, QRS. You'll notice that there's no relationship to the PR interval, and if you look at each one of these rhythms, you can map them out individually. Lastly, there's 2 to 1 AV block, which could be a MOBIS type 1 or a MOBIS type 2. In this case, we see a P, QRS, P, drop beat. P, QRS, P, drop beat, and it goes on like that. Because there's not a long enough pattern, again, you can't tell if it's MOBIS type 1 or MOBIS type 2 unless you see this in a different spot with a longer uh, pattern.